Hello, 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 and happy Friday to all of my twins, Geminis. I am talking to each and every one of you. The energy has been clear, so let's get right into your reading. Again, happy Friday. Your ruling planet is no longer retrograde. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, Geminis, let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. My information is down below, Geminis. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your general reading. I also have a second channel, so go check it out. It's called the Knowledge Channel. That description is down below as well. Let's go. Let's see what these cards have to say. All right. Oh, very nice. Some very nice things are coming your way, Gemini. So we're going to talk about all of it. We're going to talk about all of these cards for you all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So let's see what these cards have to say. Okay. We have the three of wands. Mm -hmm. We also have the knight of wands. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, cards are always telling a story. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Moon card. We have the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Yes. All right. So when I look at your cards, Gemini, I see somebody leaving behind a lot of hurt, a lot of frustration, a lot of pain. When I look at these cards, Gemini, it's just, just leaving it all behind, some betrayal and just getting focused, just getting as far away from it as possible, right? And when I see you leaving all of that behind from several people, it's not just one person. I'm talking about the emotion of it, too, not just the physical person you're leaving behind. Some of it may not be any physical people. You may be just leaving behind a lot of pain, a lot of frustration and pain. And in comes this right here, because you've always had the Midas touch. You've always been a very hardworking person. And I see a lot of you all have been investing in yourselves, right? So you could be leaving some people behind, but you also could be leaving the depth of the emotion behind as well. Because some of the things that people did to you, ran smear campaigns, talked about, these could be in the workplace. It could be anybody, right? We're talking about spirits. We're not talking about the physical body of the person. But you are leaving behind that emotion, that deep hurt, pain, and because you survived it. Your primary focus now, Gemini's, is to survive. To not not just to survive, but to thrive at this point. So I see a lot of you all expecting great things to happen after being deeply, deeply hurt by some people. See how this person's foot is um, planted and this other foot is up, kind of like anticipating something great to happen? That's what I, that's the spirit I want you all to have. Like I, I feel like something good is about to happen for me. Some of you all are going to look at some of the tricky relationships that you had around you, whether they're friendships or at work or whatever, and say, you know what? It really wasn't even that deep. It wasn't even that deep at all. It's time for me to move on. Now that I know how to balance out my own energy, it really wasn't even that serious. It wasn't even that deep. I'm moving on. And this is how you come across to a lot of people as a sweetheart. I'm talking to men and women, Geminis, by the way, <laughs> not just because I know somebody may have assumed that this is just a man. It could be a woman, too. But... And this is that is what you are attracting, Gemini. This that's the energy that you are attracting after leaving behind some things. So let's say for some of you all, you may have left behind a romantic relationship, Gemini. You may be attracting because you have dropped that weight off and you are moving forward. That is what you're attracting coming your way. A love, right? Yeah, love if that's what you're interested in. If you're interested in finding your twin flame, that's what I see you attracting because again, you left somebody else behind in the dust. You're like, I'm moving on. I'm moving on from this. I'm not stressed out over it anymore. I am just really literally moving on from something. So somebody was in a tricky relationship and emotionally you have decided to move on and say, you know what, it wasn't even that deep. You know, I was getting all these mixed messages while you're ruling. Wow. <clears throat> Actually, it was your and yours and um, Virgo's ruling planet was retrograde. I was getting all these mixed messages coming through. Everything is crystal clear now. I need to move on. I need to move on from this so I can make room for my actual person to come through. 
So yeah, so that's where your breakthrough is coming in because you emotionally left it behind, right? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to take the blindfolds off to see it for what it really was after sitting there thinking about it over and over. Like somebody was just literally ruminating over something. That's when, when planets go retrograde, especially your, <clears throat> excuse me, at one point Venus and Mercury retrograde. So that was like double whammy for some people, Gemini's. Um, somebody could have been in a relationship with a Libra or Taurus, like a Gemini, you could have been in a relationship with a Libra or Taurus, or you may be even a Virgo. But again, it was just the planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. It was almost giving the illusion that it slowed down, giving you an opportunity to look at some things and really think about some things. But I'm glad that you all have decided to move forward, get as far away from that emotion as possible because that's where your breakthrough came in. Your breakthrough came in the fact that you finally decided, I'm moving on from this emotion. I'm not even, I'm not even sweating it. I'm not tripping over that anymore. So here we have the, um, you had to take the blindfolds off. That's what you had to do. You had to take those blindfolds off and sail away from those emotions. Those emotions were really, really, really deep. You had to learn how to take, that's how you took your power back. It came to an end. Or for some people, like I said, you may be still sailing away because remember, um, Mercury just went retrograde a couple of hours ago, right? So there could be like a little bit of those emotions left, but you're, you have made a conscious decision to sail away from it. And so it's coming to an end. Yeah, you could be physically out of a relationship, but again, when these planets go retrograde and then we have these moon phases, it can, you know, anything that you were trying to suppress could come up in your spirit. So don't, I hope nobody's beating themselves up or, you know, upset with themselves from ruminating over it. Just be gentle with yourselves and move forward because that's what you're doing. You're moving forward. Things are coming full circle for you all. And I do see you in a relationship with your person. That's if that's something you want. If that's something, because again, not everybody's interested in being in a romantic relationship. But if you're interested, that's a if, you are interested in a being in a relationship with somebody. I do see your person coming along and you all are creating legacy well together. That's what I'm seeing for you all, Gemini's. This is nice. Very, very, very nice. Yeah. So I hope somebody's not sitting around, like like I said, still ruminating over this because it's coming to an end. That thing, whatever relationship somebody, the tricky relationship somebody was in, I mean, the energy was a snake energy. And snake energies are um, very wise. But for people who have just put all their power in the, that's like a, there's a story about a man picked up a frozen snake. And if somebody's familiar with the story, drop a yes i heard it, it i've heard that story before in the comments um uh, man picked up a frozen snake assuming that he'd take the snake home let the snake thaw out you know the snake wouldn't bite it but the snake in, in pure snake form bit him right what, what do you expect a snake to do so um some people are just learning how to kind of coming out of that betrayal peace and learning how to trust their instincts again so again this is where you want to be gentle with yourself gemini this is not where you want to go oh gosh i don't you know why didn't i see it i'm smarter than that and how come you know i just mm -mm, don't do that to yourself don't don't even do it to yourself because what i'm seeing here is the situation is ended you're in a rebirth and rebirths always feel in uncomfortable the intensity of it you know that you were going through you know so expect you know this is not that intense that's very intense right but right now you're kind of like in between the feelings were really deep versus some days you feel like the feelings weren't that deep sometimes they were that deep like i said it could have been a romantic relationship it could have been at work it could have been anywhere where you felt like you gave your heart and soul to something and you were betrayed and smear or smear campaigns were run or people lied or you know, took you on this journey and just hurt you and just left you for dead. Whatever it was, you're going to be floating back between some days is deep, some days is not that deep. But nevertheless, you're in a rebirth stage. So your, your primary focus is healing right now. And like I said, as long as you were with certain people, it was blocking your money. But I do see you building a legacy with someone else. And I see you being very, very, very happy. <laughs> like, in, in complete and total harmony, but it's because, Gemini, you're in harmony with yourselves first. But again, that's what that part of that healing process, this new beginning for you. 
moving forward. Remember, Gemini's, we are still very much into in new moon energy, right? We haven't even got to the first quarter moon, so we're still very much in new moon energy. So this is wish I'm seeing wish fulfillment for somebody. Somebody is sitting down yoga somebody is meditating maybe near a body of water but again you are really getting your mind right you're getting your spirit together you are healing i mean i love it love it love it so let's pull another card gemini and see what we have here let's see what we have here gemini let's see what we have here okay the world card oh wow this is reiterated okay so this is this is a good message for you we got the world card twice just two different decks this is really reiterating something here right all right so some days some days this this pain is going to feel as intense as a scorpion sting that's how intense it's going to feel but there are going to be other days where it's going to be like I'm, i've come to my senses this thing would have never worked for me you know, I need to just move on. Matter of fact, when I put all that energy into it, it blocks my money. It gets me off focus. I can't think clearly the whole shebang. But I can just tell you this, it's coming to an end. So the primary message to take away from this, this, at least this part of it, I'm going to get some Oracle cards here. But this part of it, Gemini, is the primary takeaway from this is to focus on your long-term goals, your ambitions, your dreams, your money. That's what you want to focus on primarily right now. That's what's going to help this transition be a little bit smoother. So whenever you want to kind of go down this rabbit hole of maybe talking about the person or getting upset or crying or whatever it is, What's going to happen? Because again, your planet is the planet communication. That is going to t that planet messages are going to come through and show you why it was a, a good idea for you to just leave that behind, that situation behind. Look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius is ruling planet is Jupiter. There's expansion on the horizon. So when you start focusing on, when you start focusing on the bigger picture here, which is goodbye and good riddance and let me move on so I can open up this vault filled with everything that I want behind that vault including like I said somebody may be in a romantic a healthy romantic relationship that's going to get better right because your, your focus is going to but somebody may be coming out of a situation where they feel like okay I need to be by myself for a little while where I'm going to sit here and think about this again situation is going to be better so it's going to be a win-win for you I am grace, I am centered, I am clear in my mind, I expect the best. Yes. Then this one reads, the fruit of surrender is patient grace. Just in case somebody wants to take a screenshot of that, let's pull another oracle card and let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here, Gemini. Very, very nice. But again, main thing is look at the bigger picture. Like I'm telling you, you're sitting between some intense, some intense emotions here, and then some days you're gonna feel like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, ugh. When I look at something as intense as this, as a death rebirth, especially where the person was just like, I mean, like almost adding insult to injury, running smear campaigns and lying and doing all kinds of stuff. Find a, a nice song in your heart and sing that song. You know, here we have the four plus five, which is nine. Again, transformation, death, rebirth. Find a song in your heart to sing. A lot of people don't understand the frequency of music is very, very, very powerful and invokes certain emotions. Find something that's going to keep you happy, like really, really, really happy. There's so many songs that's written about happiness. I'm not going to give you all any titles. Um, but, but again, find something that's going to keep your spirit lifted up and just happy and feeling free. Okay, Gemini's that is what I have for you. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.